Hello boys and girls, nice to see you again. Well today I'm going to read a wonderful story written and illustrated by Oliver Jeffers. It's called Here We Are and it's all about our planet and the people who live there. Uh, it says on the front of the book, Notes for Living on Planet Earth. And you can see there's a drawing of our planet just there. Let's make my picture a little bit smaller and then we can see Oliver's wonderful illustrations. Let's turn over. How to find your way whenever you get lost. And you can see at the top of the page there, the pole star. And next to it, the little dipper. And just on the bottom right, the big dipper. And it says, this is north, if you look for the pole star. And there's a little message here to my son Harland. And this book was written in the first two months of your life as I tried to make sense of it all for you. These are the things I think you need to know. And right at the bottom is a little uh, message from J.M. Barry, who wrote Peter Pan. Shall we make a new rule of life from tonight? Always to try to be a little kinder than is necessary. Well, that's a good um, rule, isn't it? Here we are. And look, you can see Oliver holding his baby uh, there. Our solar system. Well, you can see um, Oliver's pointed out where we are. Here we are. Can you see the Earth? There's a little red arrow there. But all the other planets are here as well. We've got uh, Mercury and Venus. And uh, next to the Earth is Mars, of course, Jupiter, very big, Saturn, uh, on the other side, Uranus, then Neptune. And right over in the corner, there's Pluto, our favourite dwarf planet. And it's probably not to scale. That means it, um, they're not as close as they look, the planets, in reality. Well, hello. Welcome to this planet. We call it Earth. It is the big globe floating in space on which we live. You can see the Earth and just next to it, the moon. We're glad you found us as space is very big. It shows uh, planet Earth and the moon is over 238,000 miles away from the Earth. But then there's lots of space. And uh, it says Mars. Well, that's another 140 million miles that way. So that's a long, long way. There is much to see and do here on Earth. So let's get started with a quick tour. The planet is basically made up of two parts. There's the land, which is rock and dirt, and the sea, which is water. Sometimes in the sea there's a little island, which is also land. And sometimes on the land there's a, a lake, which is also water. Firstly, let's talk about the land. It's what we are standing on right now. We know lots about the land. Some of it's hot and dry. Some of it's wet or flat. There's bumpy land. There's hot volcanic land. There's pointy mountains and very cold tops of mountains. Then there is the sea, which is full of wonderful things. We know a bit about the sea, but we'll talk about um, some more about it once you've learned how to swim. <laughs> and you can see uh, there's a, a boat and lots of different kinds of creatures, a big whale, a shipwreck. Oh, and there it says in the bottom corner, um, it's seven miles deep. So the abyss there is very, very deep. Mm. There is also the sky, though that can be, that can get pretty complicated. Uh, there's the Milky Way, uh, billions of other stars and planets. There are constellations, which are patterns of stars, other planets, stars. Um, we spin around the sun, the moon spins around us. Sometimes the sky is blue, sometimes um, it's uh, not. 
There's wind, there's clouds, rain, snow, rainbows, land and sea. You can see the lightning. Uh, there's outer space. Um, let's just move my picture because there's something hiding there. Stratus things uh, and air we breathe. Mm, that's important. So that's near near the land, but not in space. Our atmosphere. Well, that looks very complicated. On our planet, there are people. One people is a person. You are a person. You have a body, a head, a brain for thinking, arms, heart to pump your blood, a belly, legs, lungs for breathing air, bones to hold it all together. Look after it as most bits don't grow back. But bits that grow back are your nails and your hair. The most important things for people to remember are to eat, drink and stay warm. Well, looks like they're having a picnic outside. People come in many shapes, sizes and colours. We may all look different, act different and sound different, but don't be fooled. We are all people. Well, there are lots of different kinds of people there. Some small, some short, some tall, some thin, some fat, some in funny clothes, some with swords or instruments. Lots of things to look at on that page. Mm, that looks fun. There are animals too. They come in even more shapes, sizes and colours. You can see some are flying, some are from the sea, some are small, some are big. And there's even one here that says, I'm not supposed to be here. That's the dodo. Because, of course, it's extinct. It doesn't live anymore. You may not be able to speak yet either, even though your head is filled with questions. Can you see there's the little baby's head filled with all kinds of things? Be patient. You'll learn how to use words soon enough. Generally, how it works is that when the sun is out, it is daytime and we do stuff. The rest of the time is night, when it's dark, save for the moon, and we sleep. Oh look, there's a baby awake. Please, I wonder if the baby's asleep. Things can sometimes move slowly here on Earth. Well, looks like a, a very nice warm day, picnic time. And there are butterflies and beautiful birds. More often, though, they move quickly. So use your time well. It will be gone before you know it. Well, lots of things moving quickly there in the city. Though we have come a long way, we haven't quite worked everything out. So there is plenty left for you to do. You will figure lots of things out for yourself. Just remember to leave notes for everyone else. Hmm, that's an interesting drawing. It looks big, Earth, but there are lots of us on here. Over 7 billion. 7 billion, 327 million, 450,667 and counting. So be kind. There is enough for everyone. Well, that is planet Earth. Make sure you look after it as it's all we've got. Now, if you need to know anything else, just ask. I won't be far away. And when I'm not around, you can always ask someone else. You're never alone on Earth. Well, there are lots and lots of people in a long line. 
And here are one or two things people have said, like an astronaut who said, looking back and seeing your planet as a planet is just an amazing feeling. It is a totally different perspective and it makes you appreciate actually how fragile our existence is. And uh, at the bottom, Oliver, who wrote the book, has said, there are only three words you need to live by, son, respect, consideration and tolerance. Mm. And Buckminster Fuller, an inventor, said, if you own an automobile, you realise that you must put oil and gas into it and you must put water in the radiator and take care of the car as a whole. You know that you're either going to have to keep the machine in good order or it's going to be in trouble and fail to function. We have not been seeing our spaceship Earth as an intricately designed machine, which to be persistently successful must be comprehended and serviced in total. Well, I guess that means we have to look after the Earth because it's all we've got. And look, this is the Southern Cross. So let me just move my picture over there and you can see that there are different stars if you were in the Southern Hemisphere. How to find your way whenever you get lost. And it says the South Celestial Pole. This is South. This is how you find South. Mm -hmm. Interesting. And look, there's the back of the book. All the people live here. Can you see the arrow? That's the Earth. No one lives here yet. Do you know where that is? It's the moon. There's the front and back cover. And here is the front cover. Here we are. Notes for living on planet Earth. What a super story by Oliver. I hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you again soon. Goodbye.